सिप समात्मा सिप सुदीप सिप मिसेस साधवानी सिप मिस्टर छोटवानी सिप चिदानंद सिप पंकज सिप सगाई सिप पार्वतीमा सिप आत्मत्रय सिप ब्लिस सिप अंशुल सिप रेखा सिप मार्कस सिप कृष्ण एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ यू हु आर स्टिल जॉइनिंग द कॉल वेलकम टू द कॉल वी हैव अ वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर सब्जेक्ट टुडे वेरी पॉपुलर because everybody wants to know what is karma all about so today uh, let us get straight into the subject what is karma all about who would like to start who would like to uh, come forward and share uh, end of the day today you should become a master in karma this is the goal you should become you should be able to write a book on karma you should be able to give a one hour talk on karma that is the goal at the end of the day so yes uh, yes marcus please tell us what is what is your yes. submission hello good evening uh, good evening sir good evening marcus yeah sir regarding the karma it is just not only one aspect see whatever that you are doing is called as karma so karma you yes. cannot specifically say it can be a bodily it can be a bodily action also which it can be occupation also see you are in a occupation that will be occupation karma If you are in a family, you no, are the head. No, that's all okay. What you say? What you are doing? You... See, karma means what you are doing, and you are responsible for that, and good. you are answerable good. for that, and the effect comes. It's simple definition okay. that. Is. Okay, good. Thank you, Samatma. Thank you, Mantra. Samatma. Shivo, ham sir. Shivo, sir, what? Karma is action, and uh, the law of karma says, as you sow, so shall you reap. Correct. So whatever is happening today. Is really twin karma, which is an amalgamation of the pragas and agami karma. Very so good. So that is like uh, really what is happening is just a reaction to our uh, past deeds, whatever we have done before, and uh, also karma controls whatever is happening to us now, and then the unsettled karma which we have causes a uh, rebirth. Correct. So then, so so then therefore. uh what you say is very good now if i ask you to repeat what you said can you repeat <laughs> if i ask you to repeat what you said can you repeat uh, maybe not in the same words <laughs> <laughs> that is that is what i i like to guide you all and teach you all that is the, that is the whole subject for example if i ask you abc what is abc can you tell me what is abc how to live life you live life by abc right uh, accept without protest correct. do your best correct and uh, surrender in consciousness see how you know it even after 20 years i may be dead and gone but you will know you will know the abc so my goal yes i want to see the, uh, what you say is absolutely correct you have said lot of good things about karma uh, you talked about prarabdh you talked about twin karma you talked about karma is not just action but it is a law of action right you you spoke many beautiful things about karma but i want it to be so systematically organized in your head that you don't forget it till you are dead that is the goal of karma that is the goal of today's session on karma correct so let me ask so zawad ma so if you like you would like to uh, try again i would i would be happy if you are able to we put it forward together okay today actually eru has put forward the uh, mystery of karma she has eru has done some work on this karma subject so let me share with you all before the end but let me give everybody a chance first so today, today it is her session ashok chotwani shivam sir shivam sir sir karma is a universal law created yes. by sip to govern correct. this world correct law says what you sow so shall you reap correct Good karma will be rewarded, and bad bad karma will be suffered. Very everyone, good. everyone has to deal his own karma. Good. By doing Very karma, good. by doing karma, we have to come back as a rebirth to settle our account. Very good, amazing. But but if we transit our karma, being an instrument of sip, then we will be free from the cycle of rebirth and death. They are both. Salam. Therefore, ah. we should be always in consciousness while doing karma. Amazing, 
amazing you have you have said better than my book i got written two books on karma you have spoken better than my books thank you so sir, thank it, you but can you repeat it what all you have told you know how many points you have spoken or you have spoken just how many points you have spoken yeah one is sir uh, god no, how many it, points no how many points how many points sir 1 2 3 4 5 5 points sir what are the if i ask you what are the five points one by one can you tell me yeah this is the universal law of karma that no, one second point uh, what you so socially you reap third point uh yeah by doing karma we will come back we will take rebirth good fourth point if we transit karma we will be free from the cycle of rebirth Very good. fifth point uh Well, we should be always in consciousness while doing karma. Okay, so you have come very, very close to the formula, very close. Uh, but uh, I am sure you will like you. Have, you capture what today uh, is going to come forward. I want see the point is this. The point is that we have to karma by itself. The word karma, people know, but people, a lot of people. don't know a lot of people think the mind if it thinks bad thoughts it's karma no bad thought is not karma so we have to get today i want to give you all a gift of karma as i told you it's done by eru so it's not my work girish yes girish everything happens due to karma good i need to realize i am neither the doer nor the enjoyer to transcend karma okay good these are so the what additional is, points okay additional points but girish i am asking you question and i am going to ask you and samatma and uh, chotwani since you all have been given very detailed questions so three of you i am asking you the question so can we escape from karma as body and mind no as ruh already we are free good beautiful so samatma what is the way to be free from karma samatma when i realize i am not this body and i transcend karma that is when i i i realize i am not the doer i am just an instrument of the divine only then i can transcend karma beautiful ashok chotwani so uh, ashok chotwani How does the law of karma work, Ashok? Sir, I know our bank account, credit and debit. While we are depositing, we are getting credit and uh, withdrawal. Well, the same way, what we are doing is that is our positive plus karma, good karma. And when we are doing bad, uh, bad karma, that we will our bad karma in account of bad karma. Okay. Does anybody does anybody in this group have any question on karma before we move forward? Anybody has any questions where you are not clear about karma? Does anybody want to ask a question where you are not sure what is karma, whether this is what happens or does not happen? Who wants to ask any question on karma before we take it? Take I would say take the discussion to the next gear. Tina, yes, Tina. What is karma? You are asking me. Okay, good. the word karma the word karma actually means action actually but karma is not action karma is the law of action law of action so when, when normally we, if, suppose i say do your karma do your karma means do your job do your duty do your duty do your karma can also mean duty for that matter apna karm karo apna karm karo phal ki ichha mat karo karm karo do your job do your duty so job cause action but the law of karma uh, i don't think anybody said it i don't think anybody gave even ashok chotwani missed this point the law of karma is not action but action and reaction so this is very clear ashok chotwani please make note it should be there in your answer somewhere so you told so and what you call social you read you told but to explain to tina so tina and this has got a very deep meaning everybody in the group this has got a very deep meaning point number 1 every karma is not just an action every karma is an action plus reaction point number 2 every 
thing that is happening in our life today, every reaction that is happening in our life today, huh, you got a big pimple in your face, big pimple in your face, and you wonder why. This is only the effect. What is the cause? The apple on the tree is only an effect. The cause is the seed. So it is very important for us to know, Tina specifically, karma means action, but it relates to the law of action. The law of action states, whatever be your action, so will be the reaction. I'm adding this point to Ashok Shotrani and the rest of the group, Kamatma also. Whatever be your action, so will be your reaction. So, uh, Tina, whatever is happening in your life today, sometimes you wonder, what, why I did not do anything wrong? What happened? Why I'm suffering? You're suffering not because of your present action. You're suffering because of your past action, your prarabdh. Prarabdh means what you have done. Suppose I die today. If I die today, my actions are not settled. What Ashok Chotwani said, Ashok Chotwani said that the action, it is not only you will have uh, the result, it will also cause your rebirth. So karma will also cause rebirth. But many people don't understand. Many people think the soul will be reborn. Many people today, every day people question me. They say, what about the soul? Will, will, what about good souls and bad souls? Why does the soul suffer? How can the soul be free from suffering? No, the soul has nothing to do with suffering. The soul is satchitanand. The soul is something else. And finally, the most important thing, many people think our goal is to do good karma. If you do good karma, you will get moksha. No, this is wrong. This is completely wrong. If you do good karma, you will not get moksha. If you do good karma, trapped in the samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth. And this is the biggest mystery people don't understand. People think, oh, we must do good karma. Oh, we must do good karma. No, you must not do good karma. No, no. Anybody can answer the question to me when I'm saying, no, you must not do good karma. You must be thinking I must have had some uh, drugs today and I'm talking after having some drugs. Huh? I'm telling you, no, you should not do good karma. Who can explain why you should not do good karma? If I do, it will be a positive uh, on my account. And so, should not for, do? For equalizing that, I will have to come back. Well, anybody can else? Grish is talking from a master perspective. Anybody understand what Grish is saying? Bliss, you understand why we should not e do good karma? You understand? Not. Ego is huh? involved there. Of course. I am doing good. When I am no, doing right. as an instrument of God, good or bad is left to the day. No, your answer is 100% correct. Your answer is not wrong. I am just asking others whether they understand what you said. Your answer is 100% correct. So, uh, will anybody agree that you should not do good karma? If you tell somebody, will they agree? They will think if I think I'm bad. If I think I am doing good karma, it's uh, create ego in, inside me. Yeah, good. Very good. You are, you are, now you are completing the circle what Girish has started. Girish started one circle and you are completing the second circle. Girish said, if I do good karma, then my ego and mind is caught in that good karma. And you are saying when I do good karma, I'm awakening my ego. So that circle goes on and on and on. And you get caught in the, circle, the cycle of samsara. But you know, in this world, I tell you, 99% of the people in this world cannot understand this. You try and tell somebody, do good, don't do good karma. They will think you are gone mental. They will think actually you are mental. Because how can you not do good karma? Of course you must do good karma. Of course, how can? Which fool told you? Which fool told you you must not do good karma? This is what they will tell you. But the spiritual people know that I do nothing. Everything is done by sip. I do nothing. Ashok, we'll listen to Bliss and come to you, Ashok. Tell me, Bliss. Hi, Shwam. Here, Shwam, everyone. I would like to know. In fact, I don't, uh, I don't need to make good karma and bad karma because I'm not the doer. Right? Yes, right. But 
if I have to do action, it's better to do good action than bad action. Of course, of course, beautiful. Of course, you are right. Whenever you have to do action, you must choose good action. But, but, but you must yeah. not get caught thinking I am doing good. If you start thinking I am doing good, then you are creating karma. If you are creating karma, then no pirlu, then no liberation. Then you come back because you have to be rewarded. You cannot become one with the divine. I hope you understand. So we must not believe we are doing good karma. We must believe the Lord is doing the good karma through my hands. I am not doing good karma. I don't want any reward for my karma. You understand? Yes. When when we go when we do good karma, it's because we act in the name of the God and we are there for author. Then we are not doing good karma. He is doing the good karma. Yes. The Lord is doing that. So that is the right attitude. That you just now said something which is different. You said, if I can do good karma or I can do bad karma, then what should I do? No, I don't do bad, I don't do bad karma. I don't even do good karma. The Lord does good karma through my hands. And who made the bad karma, the bad action? It's God also. <laughs> uh, no, God does not do bad karma. Only God does the good karma through our hands. If you do the bad karma, it is the evil body, mind, ego, and that body, okay. mind, ego will suffer. God never does bad karma. Okay? We thanks. Ashok Chotwani. Thank you, Bliss. Ashok Chotwani. Sir, after realizing we are instrument of God, we yeah. must have to do the good karma. No. <laughs> no. After we realizing that we are the instrument of God, we have to surrender. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you agree or you don't agree? Yeah, I yeah, agree, sir. We have to surrender to Sidney. Don't say Ashok Chotwani. Don't say we have to do good karma. Immediately the ego comes into the place. The moment you realize that you are the divine instrument, you should say, I do nothing. He yes. does. What I tell you in the call every day, what do I tell you? Am I speaking? Every day I tell you, am I talking to you? Who's talking to you? Yes, what I tell you? I always He's tell you. I tell you, I do nothing. I am use, I am a useless fellow. I don't know anything. I don't talk anything. Whatever is coming is coming through me. Yes. That is our attitude. If that is our attitude, then it is right. Good. Thank so you. anybody yeah, else wants to, uh, wants to say something before we get into the formula? Anybody wants to question on karma? Anything to do mainly on karma? Also any other subject. But on karma, anybody wants to ask any question? Otherwise, I would like to give you the formula of karma. Anybody? Rekha Parvati. Ashok, you are still wanting to say something, Ashok? Okay, hand is up. Okay. I don't know this administrator. Are we putting the hand down or they are putting the hand down? I don't know what is the process. Okay, Rekha Parvati. Shivoham, Mayor. Shivoham. Uh, when we, we know everything is in the hands of Sip. Yes. So then when a person commits suicide, yes. so then how is it that he is responsible? Rekha, come on, Rekha. Everybody's doing action is not SIP is not doing. Come on. 99.99% .99 of the times, it is the body, mind, ego that is doing. It is only in the rare case when somebody is enlightened that person becomes a yogi, that person becomes a karma yogi, that person surrenders to divine, such a person is incapable of committing suicide. Such a person doesn't think of him to, to be body, mind and ego. Such a no. person becomes a manifestation of the divine. Yeah, in 99%, asking, yeah. 
I was asking if somebody is not enlightened. Yeah. And they commit suicide. Yeah. So then, like they are yes. responsible, no? So of course, what I'm trying to tell you, maybe I was. Sometimes I get very aggressive. I'm sorry for that when I'm trying to explain something. Rekha, mm. whatever is the law of karma says. The, okay, karma means action. The law of action. A action. Equals to action will equal to reaction. I was just explaining to you. So let me start explaining the formula. The formula that has been created is karma. K A R M A. Karma. K means karma. K stands for karma. Karma is action. The law of action. A stands for action. Will lead to reaction. Samatma, I hope you are capturing so that you can you can become a master at the end of the session. Action will lead to so Rekha, this this comes to you, uh, Rekha. So every time you do suicide, suicide mm. is an action. Mm. What will be the reaction, Rekha? Whatever is your unsettled karma, all your problems, all your miseries, plus the act of suicide will be come back upon you. You will that will become your sanchita karma. That will come into your sanchita karma, and then from that it will come as your prarabdha karma, and you have to suffer and suffer and suffer. I don't know how much you have to suffer because you interfered with the law of karma. You could not. You're not supposed to interfere with the law of karma. You are not mm -hmm. supposed to commit suicide. You are interfering with the will of God. Yes. Now you understood. And for that matter, mm -hmm. Rekha, whatever mm -hmm. you're doing in this world, every action. Suppose you're cutting sabzi and giving the cow. That's a mm -hmm. good action. Suppose you are making food and you are giving to the neighbor the food, but you are putting some what they call the Jamal Goti. You are putting <laughs> Jamal Goti in the mm -hmm. food. That mm -hmm. means you want the neighbors to get loose motions. That mm -hmm. means you are going to pay hundred times for that mm -hmm. because you are you are jealous about the neighbors or you are angry about the neighbors because they are uh, creating trouble. You make nice biryani, Jamal Goti biryani, and give it to them. Mm. No, no. Then you have to pay for it. Every action will lead to reaction. All right, Rekha, your answer yes. is clear. Yes. So Ashok Chotwani and Samatma and the rest. Karma, K A R M A. Karma means action. The law of action. A action will lead to reaction. R results will not only come on earth, but will result in rebirth. The result will come on earth plus rebirth. So R, M, M, mind and ego, me, carries the karma. Me, M and ego, mind and ego carries the karma. How many we finished? We finished? How many we finished? Four. Four. K A R M. Now, who will get the prize for the fifth? Who will tell me the answer for the fifth? Again and again. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That because the me will carry it again and again. So, what is the last A of karma? Anybody? Shidanand will try. Siddhanand, you captured the four K A R M Siddhanand. What is the fifth A? Accept with the acceptance. Acceptance. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful answer. But we in this case, uh, acceptance is a beautiful answer. If there was one more A, I would have added. If it was K-A-R-M-A-A, -A, I would have added that. Mm -hmm. But before acceptance, what must we do? Who can tell me the four? K A R M. Who remember? Who who knows it? Who can tell me what is K A R M? Who can say? Come on, one please start. Who can tell us? Ashok sir. Bolo Ashok. K K for karma, law of action. Very good. A for action will lead to reaction. Excellent. R for result in deeper. Result in on result on earth and, and in rebirth. In rebirth, yeah, sir. M oh, oh, for yeah. M for mind and ego carries the karma. Very good. And last A now. Samatma, you agree this is easy to utter, easy to remember, yeah. Samatma? Yes, yes. So K A R M. We are left with one A. 
last day is we have to analyze analyze everything before and then <laughs> if you analyze see then you will not realize above karma huh see what? please above karma of, of course ship is above but how to get to that ship ship is above karma but how to get to that ship blico is the master blico bharat in consciousness a i would say it will be uh blico we have lost as a act act as a divine instrument very good very good answer is answer is reaching that point but but blico while what your answer is saying is it, it, very correct it's very correct but it's not the word to act as the divine instrument my dear blico what should we do accepting always always in yoga, in yoga. yes you can be always in yoga but if you slip in yoga what is the what is the goal of being in yoga what is the way when we act as divine instrument what happens accept and surrender Accept and surrender is Sachidananda's point. It's there beyond karma, but there is something we and need to sense, do. And so you strive for anubhuti, so that Correct. the karma dissolves. Very beautiful. But for the anubhuti, what must you do? Your answers are all correct. All of you are correct. But there's one word we are missing. One one aspect we are missing. See, if we if we do karma, K karma, A action reaction, R result will come. M mind and ego carry. It's not complete. We need to. We need anubhuti. We need to act as divine instrument. All what you are saying is correct. But for that, what must we do? Awaken. Sami can more pe dhyan lena hoga. Ah, very good. When you can awaken, what you do? Hmm. When you get awakened, what do you do? sometimes you know the problem when there's so many good answers it's very difficult to tell some answers not the right answer so many good answers but when we have a formula coming from sip then we go by the formula that is given by sip that is why we stick to the formula otherwise so my dear friends you are accountable last... for whatever you do correct and we don't want the accountability accountable. we do you are right you are right we are accountable so the last a we don't want accountability So what to do? Avoid karma. Correct. Escape How? karma. How? Transcend <laughs> said... karma. Ah, correct, 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 correct. How? Then what you are saying is karma t, k a r m t, k a r m e, k a r m a. Avoid. Can you avoid? Cannot avoid. Now you are coming very close, very close, very very close. Sir, action in consciousness. <laughs> Correct, but how? See, there is one very key word, very key word, which has to transcend karma. Awareness. We have to trust. Huh? Correct. In, uh, correct. Absolutely correct. In awareness, what must we do? let me give you an example i'm giving you a clue all of you i'm giving a clue all you masters pay attention suppose suppose i take all the dirty bad bad words bad things bad garbage and i come and i throw it at you do you have to accept it what can you do if i if i if i'm throwing all the garbage in terms of physical garbage Uh, subtle garbage and um, uh, abusive garbage if i give it to you do you have to accept it then what can you do analyze you can don't have to analyze accept it but if you accept it then it becomes your, your karma As a minute you accept it, it becomes your karma. I know it's a tricky word, but we accept found accept without protest in full consciousness. Yeah, that is correct. 
but in the words of karma karma is action the law of action action will lead to reaction reaction will not only come on earth but in rebirth mind and ego carries this action again and again so what we must do a abandon abandon who said that tanu ru tanu correct correct word abandon tanu <laughs> came from see how the consciousness gives the order uh, ru tanu ru tanu comes and then you have to abandon the karma beautiful i didn't have to say it i didn't have, you had to abandon the karma why how do you abandon the karma you transcend it it's not my karma you abandon your karma when i throw something at you you can abandon it you don't have to accept it so you abandon karma by living as a divine instrument and I, I, all your answers were correct but the word abandon karma needs to come so now what are the five k a r m a to to, to rehearse what are the five who's telling us can i try yes 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 samatma karma is action that is a law of action good and a is action that will lead to a uh, reaction good uh, r is the result which will be seen on earth and also as a rebirth very good uh, m is uh, me mind and ego carries uh, forward the karma good and a is abandon the karma and transcend your uh, transcend your karma 100% correct 100% correct so my dear friends this is the law of karma this is karma you don't have to you don't need any granth no guru granth sahib required for karma for the sake of understanding karma it is very simple karma is the law of act. karma means action law of action it's a law nobody can escape every action will lead to reaction the res results will not only come on earth therefore if some result is coming today and you don't know what is that result it from your previous birth it your prarabdha karma is always chachidanan tells us it is prarabdha it is prarabdha it is from the sanchita from the sanchita comes the prarabdha and from the prarabdha comes not directly from sanchita sanchita is locked you can't you don't have to worry about sanchita it is locked when you come to birth come in come on earth who is carrying this from prarabdha to agami to sanchita to prarabdha to agami to sanchita to prarabdha to agami body will die the body will die the mind and ego me is carrying it what is the way to be free from karma abandon karma abandon karma transcend the karma how do you transcend karma i am not the doer of action this is exactly when i told bliss bliss said oh i will do good action i will not do bad action no i there is no i you transcend the me you transcend the mind and ego me because if you don't transcend the mind and ego me my dear friends you know something life is karma our entire life is all to do with karma this whole world is karma everything happening in this world is karma everything you and me are doing is karma everything to do with nirvana moksha liberation salvation god realization is to do with karma karma is so important so very important if anybody has a question either on karma or on the similar subjects please ask now because i can go on speaking but this is ask care so i'm giving you chance to ask any question shivam guru ji sure I, i have one uh, issue this karma is is in duality only karma so is once, in duality once, once we see through this duality and we we realize or get liberated then then the, the 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 concept of karma itself is gone all three prarabdha sanchita all gets burned that's what Actually, that's where we achieve mukti that's why i did not accept anybody's answer as a unless you abandon karma the duality gone gone the moment you the moment you abandon karma huh, you become i am not the doer of action i become sip i become the soul that's why such a, i had such a long discussion so many people brought so many things i said no So, so what you are saying, Mumukshu's goal is to abandon karma. Ah, uh, but abandon karma with the clarity of K A R M A. We must be very clear. So, Chidanand, even though we are okay, let let I'm going to I'm challenging this as a discussion. Okay, now suppose you and me abandon karma. We have abandoned karma, but still the law of karma is still happening. Your car will still have accident, and you will turn around. Prarabdha will play its role. 
platform is paved role for uh, from the from the observer's point of view. But, but what does you as a person, I think, uh, is disowning or ab abandoning yeah, the karma. You, but when it happened to you, when the car turned, you said, I have, I have already surrendered body, mind, ego. Yes, I have already surrendered. Exactly. So, exactly. so, so that and was, hey, what had you done? Now see, your own words are coming back to you. You have abandoned, not only karma, you had abandoned, abandoned the body, mind, and ego. You had surrendered in terms of you have abandoned. So in karma, K-A-R, the result will keep on coming, keep on coming. Till the moment of death, Till the moment of liberation, we are not excused. Any moment, Chidanand, you and me cannot have, oh, I am an I'm enlightened soul. I have already, uh, you know, many, <laughs> many swamis who speak like this, many, many big swamis, they speak like they are already become God. I know one you know, incident where, where the swami was asked, have you conquered your mind? He said, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. And then at the last moment of his breath, he said, yes, I have, I, I have conquered my mind and he, and he yeah. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, yes, right? So at yes. that time, he conquered and he died. He died. He yes. left the body at that moment. Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's very important for us to most important before I close this session. Our challenge is to kill me. Our challenge is to kill the me. We cannot abandon. We cannot abandon karma. Karma, that ma, that a cannot happen. As long as M E is there, as long as mind and ego is carrying karma on its back, oh, you cannot abandon. You cannot abandon. So, my dear friends, that's why I have given you all in a systematic fashion, K A R M A. It is very important for you to understand karma. Nobody can escape from karma. Action will lead to reaction. We are constantly getting result every day. If something bad is happening to me. Some people, they get angry. Ah, ah, you know, that, that fellow did like that. I'll kill that fellow. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. He did like I'll kill him. What, you'll kill him? It's your own karma that's coming back to you. If you say you will kill him, you're creating new karma. Abandon karma. And this is where what some, some of you said, some Achidanan said, accept. Some of you said, surrender. Both are important. Accept A, B, C. A, B, C is very, if you want to do, if you want to succeed in this karma subject, ABC is a beautiful formula for us. Accept without protest. Best effort needed. Consciously, in consciousness, surrender. But only when this ABC continues, ABC continues, ABC continues, can you attain K-A-R-M-A. -A. You abandon karma. You kill the mind and ego. You can't kill. You try you have to transcend. A lot of people use the word, when we, don't we say, Kill the mind. Huh? When you kill the mind, you still the mind. But the mind will come back like a phoenix. Remember, we have said the mind will like rise, rise from the ashes. And the mind will come with a chota sa thought. Huh? What the song? The lake asa, choti si asa. Some song is there. I don't know that song. You know that? I don't, I don't know that song, but there's something there, the song. So that's why we said M I N D. What is mind? Mind makes us miserable, causes ignorance, negative thoughts, and desires. I want you all to become masters in these acronyms. Very easy. You know the spelling of apple, no? A-P-P-L-E. No need. No need of spelling of apple. Forget it. To make mistake, you put A-P-L-E, no problem. But M-I-N-D, don't make a mistake. Mind causes misery, ignorance, negativity, and desires. This is the mind. Drop the mind and ego. We have not given up. Have we given acronym for ego? No, it's edge God out. Huh, that is a universal, but E G O. We should create. We'll, Sip will give us one more ac acronym for it. Chandra, before we close. Yes, Chandra. So can we not transcend prarabdha karma? Can we not transcend? Of course you can. Of course, the moment you realize you are not Chandra, the moment you realize you are not this body, you are not the mind and ego, you transcend all karma. You transcend Prarabdha, Agabi, and Sanchita. But, B-U-T, but, the Prarabdha karma will keep on testing you. 
it will keep on testing you to see whether you are really a yogi or not don't think don't think by telling just by telling oh i have abandoned karma that's all ha no 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 therefore ramakrishna paramahansa when he got cancer he was laughing that is a true man of yogi true yogi of abandoning karma when dada vaswani was in chicago when he was he got paralysis when he was nearing 100 years of age he was smiling and laughing the yogis of the world they demonstrate this abandoning in a positive way and chandra for them the prarabdha karma that manifests is not a is, is only a leela are they they laugh at it they they don't take it seriously so i hope this session of karma would help you all because this session of karma is very very important in our life and by giving you this formula of karma sudeep you are silent in the whole session is it useful the session or you you have any things to say sudeep so uh, no, it's very important very useful, okay very why i want you all to know this as an acronym even after 5 years you will not forget k a r m a and you will always try to abandon your karma guru ji our note, acronyms are actually like you know brahma sutras it's like shiva sutras <laughs> you just with, with this one acronym you can write thesis No, yeah, you can write one K A R M A. You can write. A, you can do one hour talk. You can yes. write a book on the subject. Yes. Huh? But you should be in consciousness. And uh, tomorrow, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm starting. A, I've started a new book. It's called Conversations on Life. Huh? Conversations on Life with Air. So tomorrow at seven thirty, I am sharing this book. Is like not. It's like a story book. It's not like my heavy books talking about spirituality, spirituality, spirituality. So tomorrow I'm sharing at seven thirty a new book that I've started, and the name is called Conversations on Life with Air. Real stories, real, real life stories. How many people have met me? How many people have asked questions? We will see you tomorrow at seven thirty. With folded hands, I bow down to you and thank you, Eru, for the acronym. I hold. I bow down to you.